Epilepsy is a neurological condition which is characterised by alterations in consciousness or behaviour. And generally to get a diagnosis of epilepsy, a person would need to have two or more seizures. My name is Maura White. I'm an advanced nurse practitioner in epilepsy and the lead clinical nurse in the epilepsy care programme. And my role is to represent the roles and responsibilities of nurses to the programme. My name is Mark White. I'm the Director of the Nursing and Midwifery Planning and Development Unit in the Health Service Executive and I'm the Workforce Planner on the National Epilepsy Project. Absolutely no relation, although we have bonded over the last two years. <laughs> This project uses and utilises the skills and competencies of advanced nurse practitioners to promote and expand the role of nursing into the provision of care for people with epilepsy. The roles of the nurses are the chronic disease management of patients with epilepsy. So once a patient gets a diagnosis, the nurses will follow and um, deliver care to these people as needed in the hospital and in the community. And this is unique. It's a unique model. It frees up clinical consultant time for consultants to review the most severe or uncontrolled uh, cases of people with epilepsy. Most service users have a long-term relationship with the service for updates, review of medication, and we, we figured out that nurses could do this. Historically, we had a very much consultant-led service where patients and clients would have to queue and wait to see consultant neurologists or consultant epileptologists. Although nurses played a part and, and role in their care delivery, this now puts the nurses to the forefront of this service where nurses are assessing uh, patients and clients and only the uh, really acute, uncontrolled uh, patients are seen and referred to a, a consultant. Hello. This has been a revelation for me. I, I find I come in and everything's taken care of. I'm getting much more of the, the, the hard, you know, the top 20% of difficult cases that I should be, that's what I should be spending my time on. And so, you know, the nurses will come to me and say, look, Colin, you know, I've seen these eight patients and everything's fine with them, but there's two here I need your key advice on. And those two patients now are taking up more of my clinical time. Two and a half days a week, I, I meet with a project team that consists of a lead nurse, a project manager, myself, a workforce manager. And we have designed a series of programmatic interventions to reduce variability of care for epilepsy nationally. International studies have shown that variability of care is a key problem. Probably our major achievement really is to design a set of standard operating procedures. The aim is to have four adult epilepsy centres that are regionally based across Ireland and to have two paediatric units in Dublin and Cork. Now working in each region there's going to be other neurologists who would be neurologists but not specialists in epilepsy and the nurses assigned to each regional epilepsy centre. The way we can deliver the advice to patients and the ongoing support to patients is that all of the new patients are going to be entered onto the electronic patient record which means that when the patient rings the epilepsy nurse service or emails the service, the nurses have access to that patient's epilepsy record at the point of contact. They can deal with any phone calls they get immediately as they have the patient's history, their medication, their type of epilepsy, and they can make changes in their medication there and then on the telephone, post the patient's out of prescription. So the patient gets a seamless service. It's great to be part of an, of, uh, an organization or a program that's providing really good quality care but very quickly showing that we can save money because we're not admitting patients to hospital, we're reducing their attendances at the emergency department. So, and the quality of care is superb and it's something that we are evaluating on an ongoing basis. We're only at the tip of the iceberg here. I have no doubt that other healthcare services and other jurisdictions will take this model, uh, maybe adapt it a little bit and utilise it into their own services. I feel really proud of the service that the nurses are, are providing. I think it's really good, top quality care. I'm proud to be involved in it and I'm proud of all the new nurses that have joined and are playing a blinder with it.